Hi, my name is Haley, and today I'm going to talk about the Turkish marriages. Marriages in the road to being married in Turkey compared to in the United States is totally different than we would even expect. According to TurkishCulture.org, um, in the past, marriage among relatives, especially cousins, was totally normal. Um, they did this, and this has changed due to urbanization and just um, things becoming more modernized and our generation thinking of things that are more normal. Um, and also in the case of a brother passing, the widowed wife would marry if he had a brother-in-law, she would marry the brother-in-law. And if he did not have a brother, she would marry another single man in the family. Didn't really matter the you know, relation, but she would marry him just to keep the inheritance in the family and to keep that her family and her children were like still together and didn't have a split kind of family. Um, Men would also, like, if there was for some reason they weren't able to marry the woman that they really wanted to, they would actually kidnap their bride and, like, kind of force her to get married to them kind of thing. Um, <coughs> before, but, however, before marriage is even an option, Turkish couples have to go through a courtship. Um, this courtship is just finding that single person that you feel like you're most compatible to, but courtship is a lot faster than, at like a lot faster pace than just dating in America would be. Um, the typical age for men to be married in Turkey is 22, and in women in Turkey it's 20. Which is kind of close to what we are, but it seems like we're getting more further and further apart um, due to wanting to finish school and other things, but that's different for each individual couple. Um, <clears throat> which, and through courtship, they have to um, find ways and find li different loopholes and people to communicate from and between because the man can't just be like, oh, hey, I'm going to marry you. And the woman just be like, okay, let's get married. Because it has to go through a long line of people. The men start out asking their friends and their family and even their neighbors trying to see if they know anybody who would be a good match. And if they can find anybody, then the man will typically try to pursue Pursue, pursue that certain woman that his friends and family have found. Um, once he has found that potential bride, they, the two families, the bride and groom family, will have to come together and there is this, they hire this woman who will go and find everything humanly possible about the bride and groom and then the families will once again come together and decide if this bride and this groom are a good fit together and if they are then they will become engaged um the engagement is completed by attaching a ring and a handkerchief on um an article of clothing and this handkerchief in the ring is actually bought by the groom's family um they're could typically have been like a small party or something of that sort, like just a little get together, which is like pastries and little snacks. Um, this has, however, kind of changed over the years. Just like us, you know, instead of getting a handkerchief, they actually just get a ring, the brides do. And then um, there's a much more elaborate, more modern, more extravagant party that follows now with the groom's um, family and the bride's family and friends of both and they all just come together to unify the bride and the groom or potential bride and groom. Um, now wedding halls are often just rented out just to hold all the people because there are so many. 
Um, there isn't a required time of engagement. Like most people are like, oh, well, you know, you should be engaged for a long time. And some people are like, oh, you can be engaged as long as you want. And that's kind of how um, Turkey is too. They, that's, there's not really a set thing. Um, we would have like bachelorette parties in America and like they'd be extravagant and partying and you know occasionally drinking if you're of age and all sorts of other things like that but in Turkey um, the bride just invites all of her um, close friends and family who are women over to their parents house and she'll stay at her parents house that evening and they will do the bride's henna art which will be on the front of her hand and all the way down um, depending on the style of her dress this is like totally normal and just how they um, decorate themselves for the wedding um, weddings in Turkey um, typically have became more in the city and they've definitely became more modernized um, they have a Western style theme, which when we think of Western style theme, we think, oh, you know, country, you know, cowgirl boots, you know, maybe, you know, not super formal, but Western theme in Turkey means more just flowers and more outdoorsy, but still really formal and, you know, not like jeans and a nice button down, but like slacks and a tux and things like that. Um, weddings, um, you can either pick a ceremony or a reception. You typically in Turkey do not get both. And one or the other is paid for by the groom's family. Which is kind of normal to tradition here in the States. It is the, why, um, the um, bride's mom will pay for, you know, the wedding. And then the groom's family will pay for the reception which is typical in um, the United States compared to Turkey. Um, the bride's wedding or the wedding will last typically three days. Typically it's like Friday to Sunday which is a long time for weddings but that would be way more than enough for me and that is perfect for them. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.